What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the San Mario Sports Network. And today we're going to be talking about the Miami Dolphins draft of 2017. Now, although uh, tonight you will just see an overall draft review, tomorrow I will go in depth on each of our picks in the 2017 draft. As you guys know, although the draft was a little bit ago, uh, my computer was broken during the draft, which is unfortunate. But today we bring back Miami Dolphins content as always. If you guys didn't see my SD Bayern Munich video yesterday, although it was a tad bit boring as a lot of people don't like FIFA uh, and it's transferring and stuff like that. It's not actual games. You might want to watch it in case you do want to watch the games that I will be posting. Uh, it's not going to be a regular series as in it's not going to be as frequent as some other series I'll do, uh, but it will be here every now and then. Uh, and I'll try to make them as exciting as possible for I know a lot of people don't like FIFA, but it's just something I wanted to put on my channel. Uh, just for you guys to see now some of you might like it some of you might not like it and uh, Whatever that's fine with me, but if you want to watch it, you should go down and watch it now What are we talking about today? So we have all the draft picks we got this year and we're gonna go through each one I'm gonna give a little bit of what I thought about them uh, and then a little bit of a grade and then It'll be a rough grade just kind of like a little like this is what I think right now uh, tomorrow though I will start going from Charles Harris all the way down to the very last pick so from round one all the way down to round seven uh so you guys can see who we picked up and how it goes so obviously we'll go from harris to isaiah ford uh but yeah and that'll be throughout all the days so each day there'll be a different draft review along with another video of my choice uh and then we'll be getting into a bunch of other things dolphins like conspiracy theories ota stuff like that uh just keep the channel pumping as it is the off season's kind of the dead time right now for the NFL, unless someone gets traded or injured, uh, circa Teddy Bridgewater. But talking about the first one, and that is Charles Harris. Now, this one is one that my friend Damien didn't like too much. I don't know if you'll be watching this, Damien, but this one is a shout out to you. He wasn't a fan of this as much because he did want Ruben Foster, but I am a huge Charles Harris fan. I think this is the guy that's going to take over for Cameron Wake. And I think he will be just as explosive and just as versatile as you want him to be for the Miami Dolphins. Now, I give this grade an A+. Plus. Now, the reason why I give this an A+, plus is not because I think, well, first-round pick's got to be an A+. Plus. Um, but I just think that the Dolphins made the right choice here. They didn't trade up. They didn't trade down. The guy that they wanted fell to them at that right position. Uh, he fills up a need in terms of youth that we needed at the position of defensive end. Uh, so we have a guy that will be there. For the long haul, someone who could take over for a William Hayes or an Andre Branch or Cam Wake, which is uh, someone who he'll obviously try to be, as he said, the little brother of the annoying little brother. Uh, it seems like he loves football. He was going to all the practices he needed to go to without a contract, uh, something that Joey Bosa didn't do last year. Uh, and it just seems like he loves football. And that's one thing that they preached a lot was they didn't want the guys who loved football. So I thought this was a slam dunk pick. I give it an A+. Plus. Now, the next guy we go with is one of, I know... On Twitter, if you guys know him, you should follow him. He's on Finsiders Radio. Houts, he loved Raekwon McMillan. And I know that he must have been ecstatic when Raekwon McMillan got picked by the Miami Dolphins. Now, I, on the other hand, really liked Akilo Witherspoon. Uh, he's a cornerback. He got picked up in the third round by the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, I wish him all the best. But I think the Raekwon McMillan pick is an A. Now, a lot of people might disagree with me, but I think this is a guy that will fill up a need instantly. No matter where they put him on the field, whether it's inside linebacker, outside linebacker, weak side, strong side, either way, I think he'll fill up a need. Him, Kiko Alonso, and Lawrence Timmons will be great to have. It'll be a much improved uh, linebacker core than what we had last year. Although I love Jelani Jenkins. He's a Gator. I'm a Gator at heart. I love them. Uh, but he did have injury issues and was not as reliable due to the injuries. Therefore, it's not really that great. And then with Koomisi, obviously, there are some issues there. I expect him to be cut by the end of the summer. But I give it an A. Uh, I really like Raquan McMillan. I think he fills up a great, really, not even a great hole, just a very big hole uh, in our defense. It makes that front seven a lot stronger uh, than it was last year. Now, the next one, we get into the picks. Oh, we're getting into some picks that I really, really liked. Now, this one is... Cor uh, Cordra, uh, I don't know how to say his name. Cordra, Cordea, I honestly, I don't know how to say his name. But I'm just going to go with Cordrea Tankersley. I don't know how to say his first name, just honestly. 
Uh, but this is a cornerback out of Clemson, and I think he is basically a Byron Maxwell 2.0. Now, although a lot of people like to shit on Byron Maxwell, uh, Pro Football Focus just came out with something today that said he was the best corner in terms of, uh, I think it was yards per game or yards per attempt, something like that. Um, but I know Byron Maxwell fits perfectly in this system. And once again, they preached, the Dolphins preached, that this is a guy who loves football. And obviously, they want guys who love football. So I think it's a very, very, very good pick. Uh, I think that he'll be more of a guy to, I guess, really be a reserve this year on the bench, uh, coming for certain plays. But I've heard from Dolphins staff, obviously, they've been saying that this is a guy that can go in and fight for a spot day one. Uh, so I'll be really interested to see how that works. I haven't watched much OTAs just because, uh, as I said before, me and my girlfriend do long distance and she's back down here for the summer. So I've tried to see her as much as possible, uh, but now I'm going to have to catch up all my shit. So he's one I liked a lot. The next one is Isaac Asiata. Now, this is one that, oh, my God, I loved. And I know the guys at Finside Radio really liked Isaac Asiata uh, out of what they heard from. I forget who it was that called in, but they had a guy call in. Uh, and he mentioned that Isaac Asiata was a guy that the Dolphins were interested in. And this is a guy, if you've seen Isaac Asiata, I'll put a picture of him like somewhere here, hopefully. But like, this is just a guy that screams like, I'm about to fucking kill you. Like he is, uh, it's outstanding. He looks like a menace and he plays like one. And I cannot wait to see how he plays on the field. I believe he is 25 years old, a little bit on the older side. I think he's a Mormon. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and he had went on some religious retreat, which is why he had to take time off. And he was explaining how he was more of a kid uh, than he was an adult. And when he came back from that retreat, he was more of an adult than he was a kid. Uh, once again, Dolphins preach, a guy that, li that loves football. Next one is Devon Godchild. Now, this is one, along with Vincent Taylor, I'll clump them in together, that I think are really good if they work. Vincent Taylor, as you guys know, the dude with the gigantic ass hands who blocked that extra. It was, I don't know if it was a field goal or an extra point that he almost <laughs> nearly ran it back uh, before passing it to a teammate. But that was great. But I, f I think both of them, both uh, Devon Gatchow and Vincent Taylor, are guys that are coming and compete day one for Jordan Phillips' spot. I think these are guys, two picks that the Dolphins said, Jordan Phillips, you need to get your shit together. You need to get your motor running. Because if you still want your starting spot, you want to still be lined up next to Ndamukong Sue, you're going to have to fight these two guys. Now, I know Godchow had some uh, off-field issues at LSU, but either way, if he can get those resolves, he could be a great player. And definitely these three guys, Isaac Aziata, Devon Godchow, and Vincent Taylor, are steals at that late position. And this one, which a lot of people are saying is the steal of the draft for the Dolphins, is Isaiah Ford. They are saying that Isaiah Ford is going to be a guy that's going to come in and compete for a starting spot. Now, this is a talented, excuse me, talented wide receiver core from the Miami Dolphins. You have Jarvis Landry, Kenny Stills, Devontae Parker. Now you add in Isaiah Ford. Leontay Carew is going to have to fight for a spot. I mean, Jakeem Grant, even though he's short, if he can get his stuff together, this wide receiver core is outstanding for the Miami Dolphins. I cannot wait to see them on the field but man this is a guy who i think he can compete and I, honestly i'm gonna put this out there if the dolphins don't re-sign jarvis landry which i think they will i think he's a guy that can compete for that spot or at least compete for Devonte parker's spot which could be interesting we'll have to see how it works out but i hope you guys did enjoy this i will go like i said more in depth and i'll probably have myself up like a little face cam like right here trying to match it with my OBS, like right here or something like that. And I'll play clips and go through it and kind of break down uh, everything and then give my full grades on them. Uh, and then I'll give a full grade on the draft class. But I hope you guys did very much enjoy. Uh, I'm back to making Dolphin videos. I love it. I'm back to YouTube. I'm learning how to edit on Sony Vegas Pro 14. So hopefully all goes well. Right now, I'll still be editing on Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, until I can figure everything out, but hopefully everything looks good to you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Make sure you comment your thoughts on the Dolphins draft, uh, even though I'm a little bit late. But I uh, hope you guys did very much enjoy. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you subscribe down below on the road to 500 subscribers. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.